Okay, so uh, from the previous video, we introduced what is the integral test. So let us look at this example here. Given this series, n times e to the power of negative n squared, we would like to know whether this series converge or diverge. Okay, so that's the question here. And we're still going to use the integral test to handle this. Okay, of course, we, we're going to have multiple methods to evaluate this, but uh, in this problem, let's still stick with the integral test. Okay. So, correspondingly, the function here is going to be x times e to the power of negative x squared. And we can even write it as x over e to the power of x squared. Okay. And x is greater or equal than 1. So we need to check, again, three parts. Continuous, positive, and decreasing. Okay, we need to check those three. It turns out that continuous, it's, it's obvious, okay. For most of the cases, it is obvious. Positive, sure. e to the power x squared, positive. x, positive, so positive or positive, sure. About decreasing, this part, it's not that obvious because as x becomes larger on the top, it's also becoming larger. How do we know whether it's increasing or decreasing? This is what we can do. We can take the derivative of this function. You know, if I apply the quotient rule, it's going to be e to the power x squared times the derivative of the top minus x times the derivative of the bottom, which is e to the power of x squared times 2x, based on the chain rule. Okay, so it turns out what I have here is e to the power of x squared 1 minus 2x squared uh, over e to the power of x squared squared. Okay. So, of course, you can even simplify a little bit more. So, it's going to be 1 minus 2x squared over e to the power of x squared. Okay. And uh, when x is greater or equal than 1 here, it is very obvious that this 1 minus 2x squared is going to be less than 0. So it turns out the derivative of this given function is less than 0 when x is greater or equal than 1. That is true all the time, okay? Uh, and uh, so that proves my function is decreasing. So as my function satisfies those three conditions, I start to evaluate the corresponding integral, which is x over e to the power x squared dx. And uh, it turns out that we can make a simply a u substitution, that is, set u equals x squared, then du is going to be 2x dx. Okay. And also, when x is 1, u equals 1 squared is also 1. Okay, when x goes to infinity, well, uh, we know that u is also infinity, okay? So with this, we can uh, evaluate our uh, integral into from 1 to infinity. Uh, let's see, x dx is going to be half of, uh, half of du. So it's going to be 1 over e to the power of u times half du. And that is half integral 1 over e u du. So to handle this integral, it's pretty straightforward. Um, again, since this is an improper integral, so we can do this, right? And it turns out this uh, going to be uh, negative e to the power of negative u uh, and then from 1 to b. Okay, so I plot um, b and 1 
into this. So this is what I have. It's a negative e to the power of negative b minus minus become a plus e to the power of minus one. Okay. And now, as b goes to infinity, negative e to the power of negative b, this part, it don't goes to zero. Okay, it don't goes to zero. Think about it, e to the power of negative infinity, uh, it will be zero. So it turns out this is half e to the power of negative one. Okay. So from here, we can see that the corresponding integral, it converges. Okay, it converges. Uh, although it converges into uh, this is going to be 1 over 2e, right? Uh, it converges to 1 over 2e, um, but from the integral test, we can only get this conclusion this integral converges. But whether this integral converges to 1 over 2e, we don't know. Okay, so integral test only tell us the convergence or divergence from, for the series. Okay, so I just want to make sure that, that part is clear. And uh, so we can get our conclusion here. Uh, so um, based on the integral test. And this series. Converges. Okay, so that uh, finished the problem. So I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure that when you apply the integral test to check those three parts. Okay, and uh, thank you for watching.